All right, technology, it's our friend. We're going to talk about it. Um, first, we're going to talk about my GCC. Ooh, it's always fascinating when you're doing a presentation and you've done it like 10 times and just this time notice that there is a typo on it. Uh, my GCC is all one word. Um, sorry, distracted by errors. Uh, so my GCC is the Student Information Management System. Um, it's where you um, can access, access your schedule, uh, find out who your advisor is, uh, find, pay your bill, uh, find out financial aid information. There's all kinds of stuff hanging out in my GCC. When you log in, it should look pretty much like this. Um, over here on the left-hand side, you have a menu with things like, as I mentioned, schedule, advisor, paying your bill. Um, this submit a form button has a lot of forms hiding under it, and we're gonna look at that in a second. Um, some other things I wanna point out about my GCC over here on the left-hand side are announcements. It's how you got here to register for orientation. You'll notice this alert GCC update reminder. We're gonna talk about that at the end of the presentation and other announcements will show up here as well. Um, these, the, uh, then you can also find some event information here. Um, and then over here on the right-hand side are the dates that are coming up soonest uh, in the academic calendar. So that's also important to pay attention to. A pen, pay attention to. Um, up here at the top, you'll see a tab that says My Account. That's where you can update your personal information. Um, so if you haven't double checked that, I really encourage that you do so. Make sure your cell phone number is correct. Make sure your address is correct. Um, one of the things I, that I find fascinating is when a student's cell phone number is not their own cell phone number, but their parent's cell phone number, and it should be yours to so make sure it is. Um, the other thing that you can change in your personal information uh, is if you have a, a preferred name that isn't your legal name and the, and the name that you really that you want people to use. Um, you can change it here. It'll um, it'll show up on class rosters and that sort of thing. Um, and people, you know, those of us who have access to like searching will be able to search for you by that preferred name. Um, you'll notice in the lower right hand corner there it was either a picture of you if you have a student ID or um, or it says no photo. That's a button. And if you click on that button, it will bring you to your dashboard. But before we go to your dashboard, I want to talk about, not that, I want to talk about the submit a form button. So I mentioned there's a bunch of forms hanging out under this button. And as you can see, there are a ton of things. Um, you can change your major, you can change your advisor, you can find out the process to request an official transcript, you can drop a class, you can withdraw from all of your classes. Um, if you need to uh, verify that you are a, um, don't mind me, I'm just making a note to myself, sorry. Uh, if you need to verify that you're a student at GCC for any reason, for your job, for a program that you're part of, um, anything like for some sort of benefit, you can just require, you can request uh, a verification um, request through this button. Um, and so, and there's other things there as well. So a whole bunch of stuff that you can do really easily straight from my GCC. I don't know why it keeps being so cranky, but eventually we're gonna get where we're gonna go. So I hope I didn't make you too dizzy. All right, so when you click on that button, it's either a photo of you or says no photo, it brings you to your dashboard. Um, your dashboard has a bunch of stuff on it. Uh, first, if you ever forget your student ID number, it's hiding here under this button. You can just click it and it will show you what your ID number is. Um, you, this gives you a uh, kind of top level schedule information. Um, you know, the course, when it, the dates it runs, when it needs, if it has a specific meeting time. Um, if, uh, if it does have specific meeting times, it'll tell you the days. This is where I want to point out to you that um, GCC uses single letter abbreviations for days of the week. So that means Tuesdays are T and Thursdays are R. So this is not a class that only meets on Thursdays. This is a class that meets Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, but if you want a more detailed version of your schedule, you can find that here. We're going to talk about that in a second too. 
Um, if you want, need an unofficial copy of your transcript, you have access to it right here in my GCC. You can just print it off. Um, trying to think, is there anything else? I feel like there's something else I wanted to point out to you all, but darn if I can remember what it is. Also, see, I know this person completed orientation um, and uh, means they did their survey. Uh, if this person had class, if if this person had classes on campus, the room number would be here. Something that's really important to know about room numbers is that they start with a letter. So if it says N, it means your class is in the north wing. If it starts with S, your class is in the south wing. If it says E, your class is in the other building, the east building. Um, and uh, when, and then now I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you click on the view schedule button, there's a couple of things I wanna point out, point out to you there. It's going to do the same. I don't know why it's being so cranky, y'all. I'm not loving it. Um, all right, there we go. That'll make it better. Okay, so this gives you more detailed information. Um, one of the things I want to draw your attention to is this is a class that meets on campus. See what I meant about starting with the letter? So this class meets in the south wing in room 338. Now, you might be wondering, hey, how do I get the books for my class? Here is the answer to your question. If you click on that view schedule link, you, you can get to this, it'll get your schedule, and then there's purchase books at the bookstore button right here. And that will bring you to the bookstore and it will list all of your classes and the books associated for, with that class. Um, the other thing that your detailed schedule will have are notes about the class. So Social 106 is a class that has no required meeting time. Um, this course is a hybrid course that meets one day a week on campus. Um, and the rest of it's online. So those are the other things you can find in that detailed version. I do want to pause right here. And you might be thinking, all right, I have classes on campus. How the heck am I going to find them? Well, I have a little bit of information for you about that. First of all, there's a map at the end of the orientation packet. So definitely check that out. Two, uh, starting next week, there will be student guides uh, on campus that can help direct you to your classes or other offices on campus. Um, uh, they will be here. So next week, it will be between 10 and 4. And then the week that classes start, it will be uh, 8 to 6, uh, uh, Monday through Thursday. So I don't think, I don't know if we're actually, Monday is a holiday. So I don't know if there's actually going to be any guides or if the campus is even going to be open on Monday. Um, but well, the, for safety, let's say Tuesday through Thursday, it'll be open eight to six. And then on Friday, I mean, not open, they'll be there. And then they'll also be there eight to four um, on Friday. So ju just know that like there will be people to help you find your way. I will also just give you the heads up that GCC is not set up in an intuitive way. And uh, a question you hear a lot is, can I help you find something? Because we're all very used to kind of keeping our eye out for folks who have kind of lost looks on their faces. Um, and I will tell you, as someone who has been here five years, I still get turned around and will be like, nope, this staircase did not take me where I thought it was gonna take me. So, oh, and there's signs that say like, this way to these you know, room numbers, this way to these room numbers. So get used to looking for those. Know you can ask anyone. Um, one of the things that's great about GCC is folks really are quite friendly.